We are underway, on the way to Greece. We are. And today's first adventure is the very ironically named Fast Cathy. It's not so fast. She's a ginormous tanker. Well, we are right up her bottom. Nice day. We've got good wind. Yeah, adventure begins. So it seems like Fast Cathy is waiting for someone as a boat has just tipped up. Either someone's going to jump on board or someone's going to come off. Someone's coming off. So I'm still trying to set up this uh, wind vane. I think I've got it now. It looks like it's holding some sort of course. It does an S type um, turn whilst it's keeping its course. But yeah, I think I've got it. Um, and there's quite a bit of swell as well. So it puts the uh, hydro rain to test. But yeah, it seems to be working so far. So happy with that. Oh, he's come back to life now, pretending he wasn't just falling asleep, waiting for the weather to download. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. saw you. <laughs> I was, I am ready for bed. But yes, I'm ready to, well, I'm also downloading uh, weather on the Iridium Go because it wasn't forecast to do anything drastic. But we just hit 28 knots and we're riding on the back of the Minstrel. So, yeah, I thought I might as well download the, uh, uh, the weather anyway, just to double check, see nothing that's going to creep up on us while we're heading to Greece. It's going to take three or four days, so, yeah. What's up? <laughs> it's really difficult to film <laughs> when it's as roadie as it is. Um, it's not as bad as it was but it's still a bit rolly. Um, we do still have three reefs in. I'm not waking Tony up yet to deal with it. We've got 17 knots now. It goes up and down a bit, so it's not too bad. We're doing 4.5 to 5 knots. We'll live with a ridiculous amount of reefs in for the time being. He needs sleep. Tony has just awoke. I'm being mean because he's actually taking paracetamol. He's got a bit of a headache. May or may not be seasickness. It's a bit strange. 24 hours in. Yeah, it's been a bit rolling. He has been below deck. He just made lunch, so we'll let him off. He's not even going to turn to show his face. <laughs> Weather's not quite chilled out as much as predicted yet. That's all right. Not too bad. Flying along. It's. 20 to 7. Um, the sun's slowly setting, um, but Bryony's up now. She couldn't sleep. We just had dinner. Say hello, Bryony. <laughs> hello. We haven't just had dinner. I couldn't sleep. There's no point me laying in bed if Tony can go and actually sleep. So I'm taking back over after a short amount of time, but that's okay. How's your foot doing anyway? But it's okay. It's a bit sore. It's a bit sore. My problem was I had cold toes. I can't fit a sock on over the compression bandage. And that got me thinking, Tony. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like when people, and I've been in a foot cast before, and your toes get really cold because you can't move them and often there's vascular damage as well. And people that spend, you know, winter in a cast are going to get cold feet cold toes. You're gonna like this. <laughs> you know how 
on cats so you can put the little cat tips on the claws to stop mm. them getting being able to scratch and i thought you just need like little toe socks <laughs> that you put over i see and you could call them toe toppers or toasty tootsies <laughs> you can see tony's face right now. right i don't think tony thinks this is a good idea <laughs> I did. I thought of this earlier. <laughs> I reckon there's a gap in the market. Yep, Dragon's Den. <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to make the cut because Tony's not impressed. That was my good idea of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sat out here not being able to get my sock on my foot properly. Problem solving, Tony. Yeah, our problem. We're going to jive now. Yeah, let's jive, get it over and done with, get a better course over ground to our waypoint. We have been flying along though. Evening. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> um, Tony woke me up. Boo. Um, to was the sea has finally calmed, the wind is at 10 knots. We are downwind, so we're gonna put the pole out so we can go wing and wing. Hopefully move down wind a little better. We did it beforehand, it's also rolly. Um, it's a bit of a pain to reef if you need to quickly. Um, I'm half asleep still because I can hear telephones ringing. Um, so we are putting that pole up. I'd rather be in bed. But Tony's on the deck, which means I have to be up watching, making sure he doesn't fall over. He's bored. Although, I might push him. Tony's hot and sweaty now. Yeah. It's <laughs> definitely like, warmer than yesterday. Yeah. Warm is from coming. But we ring and ring. We did forget to shake out the reefs. We also need to take down that Maltese flag. It's annoying me hugely. But done. See a few stars. And the biggest star of them all. Me. <laughs> right, you're going back to bed? Yes. <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm worried I won't sleep now. I'm developing Radagast the brown hair again, which I need to resolve tomorrow morning. Well, that can wait until day. You're not going to cause any trouble. Huh? You're not going to cause any trouble. He didn't say no. 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 Party with the dolphins. Hmm. No, I'm going to bed. Alright. Night. Night. Good night. Me and my dodgy foot are going to go lay down. What is that lovely sound? I hear you ask. That is the sound of us motoring. Because the wind obviously has died. We might have mentioned it before, they do say in the med you get either all the wind or none of the wind. We had all the wind for the first day and a half. Two hours, maybe. And now we have seven minutes of wind. <laughs> Downwind, so not even our best, one of the most faithful wind angle um, on the beam. So yeah. The motor is on. 
when I die and go to hell, the background sound in my own personalised hellscape will be beautiful SV rhythms, not so glorious engine sound. Actually, it's not even a bad sounding engine, it's just we don't want it on, obviously. Um, and the additional background sound will be the boom. We have still got the main cell up, it's just sheeted in. Um, I think it's going to be like this for the rest of the day. Yay. And then hopefully we'll get some on the beam if the forecast is accurate. Um, and then closer to Greece it looks like they are going to have quite a lot more winds um, but we'll stay close to land and hopefully stay a little bit sheltered out of that. If not it's fine, it's nothing major major. Um, about 35 knot gusts which yeah, we'd rather not. Um, we can cope with the winds as long as we reef early. It's the um, it's always the seascape that makes things a bit tricky. And that is it. It's going to be a slow boring engine day. There's no one around. There's a tanker that we avoided obviously earlier. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. Um, that's it. It's going to be a really boring day. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Second attempt at radioing a vessel which is going to pass on comfortably close to us. It is a big tanker. It's overtaking. We should be a stand on vessel but they're not responding on the radio. I've just taken out the MMSI number which will hopefully help. Calling Vessel Foe, Vessel Foe, MMSI number 53800 This is SB Rhythm, do you copy? Over. on either side, multiple. So I can't just change course as easily. They have more room on their side to turn to port. Sometimes if you hail them and they hear, they might just change course anyway without actually answering. They have done that before. I'll have a peek. When in doubt, Go faster. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure that our uh, radio's receiving. So I called them twice, no response. I had thought it's been suspiciously quiet on the high seas um, the last 24 hours or so. There was a lot when we left. Um, there was a fishing vessel in distress, um, and the Coast Guard were coordinating other ships. Um, and then it went very quiet, a little too quiet. Um, so our radio is now hanging off the wall. Tony's rummaging for a book. Yeah, and I sped up. I just whacked the engine on so we could cross paths quicker. I um, couldn't go the other direction, so two tankers that side. So I ruined it, which is fine. Bonan Ace, Bonan Ace. This is Salem Vessel Rhythm. Radio check, over. Sailing vessel rhythm, many thanks, out. Yeah, they just won't answer. So the other one's just not answering? No. It's a good thing I started hooning it with the engine then. <laughs> then it's not listening. Another day, another problem with the tanker. We've avoided about three, I think, where if we hadn't been very proactive, it could have been dangerously close. So yeah, 
Um, not all in this passage, obviously, um, there yeah, since we started in the UK. Um, and last time we went to Gibraltar, not on our boat as well. There was an, another ghost tanker with no AIS on, not answering the radio that we diverted for. And it was just like weird, very close that one, scarily close. Um, yeah, it's worth being proactive. It's hot. Whew. It's worth being proactive um, and not presuming that they've got many people on board and they'll do the sensible thing because they don't. And we're the ones that have paid for the condition, not them. Hoist the sails and trim the sheets The ocean rhythm sets the beat Horizon bound where freedom's found Following life's compass Captain standing at the helm The first mate steady